I'm gonna be so honest right now. High school is a joke, meaning ignore people. Like I said, y'all, I'm gonna be brutally honest. Get over it, baby. There's more fish in the sea. There's a lot of fish. You might find a dolphin or a shark or a penguin. I don't know, whatever you like. It is okay to take a break. I had to learn to. I hated breaks. I didn't even know what a break was. On y'all top, don't, but you can't be ugly and messy at the same time. Don't, that, that don't work. That's not a good combination. Hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel my name is Eden if you do not know and in today's video is going to be freshman advice so you guys when I first started my back to school series I asked you guys to recommend some videos that I could do for my series and honestly this was the main video that was recommended so you guys know I had to do it for you guys but honestly this is not just for freshmen but it's gonna be mainly about freshmen since you're just now coming into high school but baby this is for high school in general and middle schoolers as well I definitely feel like middle schoolers I definitely feel like this is good advice for middle schools as well because I did have comments as well saying can I do a video for middle schoolers so I'm just putting everything in one video but majority of this video will be for freshmen in high school y'all 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 get on try to see y'all y'all get on try to say so this for freshmen sophomores juniors juniors girl I, I have my juniors and my comes too, baby. Junior is nothing to play with. I don't care. So this is for everybody. But first, before we get into the questions, we are going to start with topics. So you guys, the first topic is don't be nervous. Don't be afraid. Don't be scared. When I tell y'all and all my freshmen out here, all my middle schoolers, I'm <laughs> I'm y'all I'm gonna be so honest and y'all yeah let me let me just tell y'all now I'm gonna be so honest this is just my y'all know I'm an upcoming senior I'm basically a senior already I'm gonna be so honest right now high school is a joke I'm t a J O K E high school is a joke don't be afraid of the first day of school I know y'all had asked me about that the first day of school I know, I know y'all can't help it because y'all are freshmen and first day of school is always going to be nerve wracking. But y'all, when I tell y'all, y'all going to find a click just like this, just like this. I'm telling y'all, just be yourself. Just be yourself. Be unapologetically yourself. And you're going to find your people. You are going to find your people. I'm not going to lie, ain't nothing better than already coming into high school with your group or your friend, whoever you hang with that is low-key better so you already have an idea of like who you're going to be talking to who's your friends or whatever i ain't gonna lie baby you don't even know if they gonna last for real but we not e we, we gonna get we gonna get deeper into that in a minute hold on but yo you guys don't be scared of course y'all of course y'all don't know now if you're not if you're just not getting to high school y'all don't know now y'all haven't experienced it yet but high school is nothing to be scared of i promise just one thing about it don't try to fit in don't do something that you ain't never did before because you're scared and try to fit in don't do none of that don't be stupid i would be brutally honest y'all i'm sorry i'm gonna be brutally honest don't do nothing stupid don't do nothing that you know you never did before no you don't even want to do don't. that's peer pressure we gonna get it to that hold on next topic is who be mentally emotionally physically spiritually if you're spiritual prepared I'm even gonna yeah you gotta be prepared for high school although i know i just said high school is a joke because it is y'all can quote me on that high school is a joke so not gonna lie it has its bumps and bruises so nothing to play with when it comes to the people when it comes to the work if you're if you're doing sports which i do recommend we'll get into that later be prepared for all of that because y'all it's gonna it's gonna just it's gonna come to you right quick and you got to be able to catch it for high school be ready for any and everything especially when you're doing a lot what i mean by mentally is the people do not let people get into your head girl you are there to learn learn and only learn what i mean by physically prepared y'all girl make sure y'all have y'all pencils paper notebook binder your book bag your chromebook ipad phone whatever you do your work on now for real though having a good mental for high school is like the number one thing y'all because high school will train the f out of you you guys no lie 
like no freaking lie it will drain you especially if you are doing sports it will drain you cold you gotta be ready for any and everything y'all the next topic is teachers me personally i feel like you should always grow a relationship with your teacher not even on no teacher teacher's pet type stuff you should want to get to know your teacher depending on who they are and because I was like this bad when I was in middle school I had so much social anxiety that I would be too afraid to ask questions when I needed help or an answer or anything or just work in general that's how I was definitely as a little girl and even kind even my freshman year a little bit I was really nervous to even talk to my teachers the most I would say is hi good morning or something like that and don't give your teachers a hard time I know y'all hear this a lot but baby they do they don't get paid enough they don't sit down learn and wait for your next class or wait for dismissal because baby we don't got time neither on a relationship with your teacher it also helps them know when you're either slacking not like not doing your best when they notice that they'll come over and like you know check up on you see if you're okay and honestly some teachers are just good to like be close with like although of course keep it at a teacher and student boundaries you know but because at my school then it's, it's hard it's hard to just keep boundaries you know but just the cool teachers now all teachers are not cool some of these teachers y'all this is this is another reason why i said high school was a joke these teachers don't give me these baby baby it's it's hard to find them it's hard to find them oh yeah don't piss me off some of these teachers, y'all, they will let you fail. They will let you fail. That's why, y'all, we have to be on our P's and mother freaking Q's. Be on your A game because these teachers do not care. I had a teacher like that my freshman year and I failed his class, y'all. I didn't care my freshman year, y'all. I'm gonna be so honest. I did not care my freshman year and I failed that man's class. He didn't check up on me. I was sleeping in his class. He didn't check up on me. Make sure I was good. And y'all, I was so depressed in my freshman year. That's a whole other story, but yeah. And that's a lot of teachers in high school. It's, eh, it's a balance. It's some teachers that care and there's some teachers that, that don't. That's the difference between middle school and high school. Middle school, teachers have to care. High school, teachers don't. Okay, guys, the last topic is how to deal with drama slash haters. Y'all, I had to practice this. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. I've always been like this. I've always been an unbothered person. I promise you will never like, like, and especially who, the way I have practiced that the end of my junior year in this summer, baby, my senior year, baby, don't, don't even try. I need to practice being unbothered, meaning, ignore people y'all y'all gotta realize y'all some bad girls y'all some pretty girls y'all are the it girls don't let some drama get in the way of anything your work your friends if they are your real friends don't give people the time of the day people will think you 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 scary you will you a, you a pussy you a b-word because you don't entertain BS and that, like that's so crazy to me. Okay, I could see if some some female or whoever you whoever the drama's with is trying you on some real like real life stuff, and it's okay, y'all. It's okay to stick up for yourself. Stick up for yourself, but you but y'all y'all also gotta think about it. You're in school. If you are gonna stick up for yourself, do it outside of school. Do it outside of school and make sure it don't get back in school because y'all gonna remember like i said you're here for four years to get the diploma and get out you're not gonna remember any of these people unless y'all relationship is just like this there is more bigger and better things out there than drama i'm gonna get into that deeper like i said practice being unbothered okay y'all so now we're gonna get into the questions all tea all shade so the first question is how to get over someone that you like but they don't like you Girl, them. like i said y'all i'm be brutally honest get over it baby there's more fish in the sea <laughs> y'all it's so me well i know y'all mamas y'all grandmas uncles daddies told, told y'all that before they wasn't lying there's a lot of fish or you might find a dolphin or a shark or a penguin 
I don't know, whatever you like. There's more of that, I promise. Baby, because one thing we're not gonna do is chase. We don't chase. They chase us. This question is how to manage YouTube and school at the same time. Y'all trying to be funny? Because I didn't laugh. <laughs> So, Cause y'all know good and well My OGs know My OGs know I took I was off of YouTube I ghosted y'all For like Five or six months I'm not even gonna hold y'all I ghosted y'all For my whole First semester Of my junior year Cause baby I ain't Baby When I tell What I said When I first started this video I'm learning with y'all I am learning with y'all Baby I didn't maintain Nothing Nothing. I'm gonna learn this year because I'm not doing anything this year other than like clubs, but that's clubs that die hard sports. Honestly, the only advice I have right now is time management, which is really another word for have a schedule. Make sure y'all have set times on when you're doing what and make sure school is the main priority in that schedule. That's what I'm gonna be doing this year. So hopefully that answered your question because when I tell y'all I wasn't maintaining nothing. For the next question is how to get out of my comfort zone. So you guys, a big help with me getting out of my comfort zone was my friends. My relationship with my friends is like a relationship I've never had before, you guys. They definitely brought out the a whole other side of me. And honestly, that was a part of me growing up as well. Me getting older and not really caring anymore. Stay around positive, funny, creative people that just bring the light inside of you where you just feel like you can do anything. Don't consider the worst that can happen. Like, don't be such a survival mode. Be free. Be Find your calming place. The next question is, how do you handle stress? school friends sports etc tell you this listen to me clearly take a break it is okay to take a break i had to learn to i hated breaks i didn't even know what a break was i was on go 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 don't stop like i said before high school will drain you will drain you if you don't have time management okay and then how to handle stress with friends and maybe you need to take a break with them too i mean sure i mean i mean I mean, let's, I mean, like, let's be real. Treat a relationship how you would treat a friendship in some sort. You know how you take a break with your man? Take a break with your friend. Like, you my, you my girl, but baby, I need, I need some time alone. Like, I need some time away. I'll hit you up when I'm better. Back and going. Spiritual girlies, my Christian girlies out here, pray. If you are stressed in school and anything, pray. Pray to God to give you the strength help you out make you strong tell god to motivate you people might find it corny and you're weird if you find it corny but baby ain't nobody gonna make nothing better but the man upstairs promise all right guys so the next question is how to deal with drama with outsiders and your friends this was a big one for me like i said again don't listen to the voices the voices meaning the people that's trying to hype you up to entertain the bs don't waste your time on these dumb bad built weird looking females not even to talk bad about nobody because everybody's beautiful god made everybody beautiful he did y'all are hearing me out y'all ears but y'all not listening don't waste your time on these people not even females because these these n words get out of hand too y are too pretty y'all too beautiful y'all too smart to be wasting your time don't don't let these ugly ugly females on y'all top don't but you can't be ugly and messy at the same time. Don't, that, that don't work. That's not a good combination. You're here to learn. Not worry about why he, she took her man. And she was just with the other her last night. No, I don't care. I don't care. That drama ain't got to do with you. Turn the other way. But drama friend wise, like y'all was already friends. Honestly, I've already went through that. I've already went through that and one thing about me, one thing I have learned and I had to practice is communication, y'all. Communa freaking -cation. There's nothing wrong with simply telling somebody you just don't want to be friends anymore. Take it or leave it. Your friends is draining you and the situation ain't even about you. Mm-mm. So the next question is how to deal with boys or just a relationship in high school in general. 
how do you know if a boy is cheating or playing with your feelings one thing a high school relationship will do is definitely have privacy in the relationship make sure he or she is not telling all y'all's business make sure y'all have boundaries make sure y'all friends like i said make sure y'all friends and get into, get ain't getting into what y'all got what y'all got going on like boys they're just stupid they're just very dumb they don't really care about like females at all like but don't don't be a dummy don't be don't be a dumb b word you know that man playing with you it's receipt that that man is playing with you and you still with that man that's playing with you now you looking dumb now you're the problem but y'all don't understand where boys go to jupiter where it's stupider y'all that saying is real like it's like it's dead like i'm dead serious like these sayings are not a joke okay you guys so that was the end of my video you guys i hope i helped you guys a lot y'all know i'm bad at explaining stuff so i hope i hope y'all understood y'all understand what i was trying to say whatever you do is going to make the best of your high school years guys i love you guys so much make sure you like comment and subscribe and if you want to turn on your post notifications to know anytime i'm posting a new video see you guys later bye